My name is Alison Covington and I'm the founder and managing director of Good360. So Good360 is a matchmaker, so we're the largest online marketplace in Australia for businesses to donate their spare and brand new goods to charities to help Australians in need. We're currently doing about $100 million worth of goods distributed each year. Our goal is to be able to do a $1 billion by 2025. Being a charity, we're heavily regulated and for good reasons. So we need a system that allows us to be able to track every transaction. When we started Good360 in Australia, we used the knowledge of Good360 USA. And so they were using NetSuite and Magento. So we use the same system that they recommended. So currently the most uh, important metrics is the sales reporting, charity reporting, and the inventory reporting the reports I use in NetSuite. It's the flowing between business units. So, you know, we have an inventory controller and the warehouse who puts the items coming in from the transport coming into the warehouse through to our finance and administration team and our business development team. So it's allowing the different business units to be able to track. Well, I found NetSuite is very powerful about the data. You can get almost everything and it's very flexible. You can customize your own reports. You just need to click and it will update to date. We had the system based on the US version in a global instance of NetSuite, but we worked out that that wasn't entirely suitable for our operation. So we needed to have our own instance. When we were needing to get out of the US NetSuite instance and move into our own, we wanted to retain all of our historical data. That was really important to us for reporting. Right from the beginning, I insisted every single item that went in and went out was tracked. There was no point tracking it five years later when we got to scale. We had to track it from day one. You know, the scale has increased quite a lot in terms of the volume of new products that we're seeing, and NetSuite has allowed us to keep up with that workload because of the automation and data management tools that it has. We couldn't do an implementation without an implementation partner. So we need to draw on the expertise of somebody who does that all day, every day. And that was the beauty of working with Anexa. Anexa definitely understood this need and ended up kind of being the ideal partner for this. They had a custom syncing tool that they used to link our data in the US NetSuite instance into our new Australian instance. They were definitely there every step of the way with validating all of that historical data and also with the implementation of our new instance so that it worked in the way that we needed to. You know, we've more than doubled every year and there's no point tracking it right at the end. When you are at scale, you have to track it at the beginning. We look at an ERP and say, well, you know, that's a bunch of data. But what I'm trying to find is the MD, is the insights, is what is that telling me about my business? Is it telling me that we're growing in a particular area? Do we have the ability to scale more in another area? It's definitely important to get a partner like Anexa who have the expertise and the resources and the skills to make that migration really easy. <laughs> it's dangerous. <laughs> Actually, I think the staff are going to take next week off me. <laughs> They're going to unplug it. <laughs>